What's up, y'all? It's Noble, back with episode one of the Ezekiel Carter series. I was sick, now I'm back. Let's go, baby. Roll the intro. What is up, everybody? I'm Noble, back with the Georgia State Panthers dynasty under head coach Ezekiel Carter. So today we are going to delve into uh, what we're going to be doing in this franchise, the recruiting aspects of it, who we're going to be playing on the schedule, and then we're going to go ahead and kick one off, see if we can get a game in today. So first off, we're going to go ahead and check out the recruiting board. All right, so first thing, we need to pick up some positional players, so we're definitely going to go after that. Uh, team needs, we're going to need some defensive tackles, some fullbacks, a kicker, and a free safety. So the first thing we're going to be looking after is to secure those needs. But the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to see who wants to come to Georgia State. We do have some three stars interested, so we're going to go ahead and put all of these guys on our board. Other than that, we'll just let the boards fill itself. We're just going to go ahead and dump a bunch of points into whoever we have interest in. So, that is pretty much everybody on our board right now. So, we're just going to go ahead and look at all of them. Guys get worse. A lot of people are getting worse. Charlie Morgan goes up one overall. Jeremy James goes up three. Brian Thompson stays. Joey Carlson goes up. Tremont William goes up. Kyle Robinson. Kip Strickland, and Darius Rivera, the 70 overall kicker. If we can lock him down, he's definitely going to help us out. Kickers aren't too hard to get in the game, but uh, I would rather not have to spend the whole season fighting over a kicker. In the early and uh, there are two different coaching trees, but I am going to primarily try to invest in uh, the, current, the current coaching tree. Um, moving on, however, we are going on to check out what the schedule looks like. Um, and so off rip, it looks like we're looking at a home game against our in-state rival, Georgia Southern, the University of Southern Florida, West Virginia, we'll be playing down there, or up there, pardon me, uh, a bye week, then we have Coastal Carolina, uh, we get to play at Alabama, that'll be fun. We get to host Troy, we'll play at Texas State, we'll play at Louisiana Monroe, we get to host Western Kentucky, we'll be playing Louisiana, Arkansas State, and I mean just throughout the Sun Belt Conference, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get started. Georgia State Panthers, let's go, roll it. Glad to have you with us in the studio, I'm Reese Davis bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're giving you a live look inside the stadium. Arms are loose, hamstrings have been stretched, shoulder pads and helmets have been bumped, and soon the hit commence. And now to get this dynasty kicked off and started, Both we're going to be getting the ball the field, first in the modern day eight game. Let's up. see how we do. And this season is officially underway. He's to the 10. 
He gets out to about the 18-yard line. The Panthers have a new There it is, Ezekiel Carter. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. So let's see what the offense can do start as they the, come out onto the field. Start the game off, see how our running back can do. the stop at about the 21. Coach gets three yards on the carry. It's second and seven. Ball on the 21 yard line. Take the snap. Running back's going to get wide open. And down he goes. Around the 30. We're just going to try and run the read option right here. See if they take the bit. Which they do. Stop. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 45 yard line. Quick throw picked off. And we're going to throw our first pick. To your offense right there. Way to find another wrinkle. From their own 49 yard line. It's first down. The Queen always going to bounce off the hit stick. Dodging tackles. Figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have Options no more problem absolutely putting killing us on board. Defense. It's first and ten. Ball in the 35. Another run. They'll bring him down around the 34. Get a good stop here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Quick throw back to the receiver, incomplete. He made we're going to get lucky here. They're going to throw their first pass out of bounds, and we're going to see if we can get the ball back here. took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. We've got White back to return this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. That's it for the first quarter. We're both going to get home held scoreless on one drive each. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. Here he goes, and he's tackled at the 35-yard line. Another quarterback run is going to get us a nice first. The run game is working, but here we're going to try and switch up the drive. pass. See if we can get something moving over there. Let's go, let's go. Play action. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at around. We're find McCoy over the middle for 21 yards. Play action move the chains covered. towards the end zone. The defender has his eyes right on the guy's back covering, the but in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. He's at the 20. Lost the ball. Oh, Ooh, and we're going to get Brock to drop the ball. This is what it's all about. Oh, I got hurt. Taking advantage of an opportunity there, pouncing on the loose ball. Mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. The Panthers saw one of their key guys go down early. Switching cover like three, trying to, trying to play back in the middle. Action. And we lost our running back. That big hit a second ago, so that is definitely going to hurt. He laterals the ball. He makes his way to about the 48. We're going to go ahead and set in our backup running back. This is an unfortunate, very unfortunate in our opener. Just throws this one away. Now here we are on third and ten. It's like another pass play with motion. Screen. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled. At about the 47. We're going to go ahead. Man, are they gonna fake it? Oh! Down at the 30 yard line. So they go on the All right. They have another first down. They are stringing we together. We just get absolutely nice stunned by a if fake they keep punt. This up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 30 yard line. Pressured and brought down. Absolutely. Strike to his receiver. No good. And on third and nine, it's going to go through the receiver's hands. Looks like we're going to have another chance to get the ball back here if we can get one more stop. Deep pass to the end zone, and it's intercepted. And we're going to get a pick with more in the end zone, and we're going to see if we can get this thing back upfield, which is a terrible decision as we're only able to get it up a couple yards. But now, with a chance to move the ball back up the field with only 40 seconds left, we're going to see how well our two-minute drill can suffice. Five wide receivers in the formation. Big pass up to Pinnockney, up the field. And we're going to go ahead and burn a timeout. And Cornelius Brown although we threw a pick earlier in the game, is looking to heat up here before the half. Pinning me again down. making a big play. I think right here we're just looking to get points on the board. Two receptions, 40 yards on this drive alone. And we've got Pinnockney on the outside. So now the question is, can we get open deep? Down the field. And Pinnockney's going to go up and catch it. That's a touchdown before the half. 54-yard touchdown reception. Pinnockney saves the entire drive with only a few under a minute on the clock. Snags and double coverage and breaks the tackles. That's our first Georgia State touchdown. What a way to start the dynasty. We're going to break it up and go to the half, up seven in the first Georgia game, lead is Georgia a State leads. We're going to get him after only a three-yard run here, second and seven. making it second down. And a fumble. We're going to pick it up at the 15-yard line. Georgia State is up seven. We're going to get a wide open gap over the middle. Big juke by Cornelius Brown to get us to the one yard line. Here we go. Third and goal from the three yard line. Looks to a receiver. And we're going to get the touchdown. Cornelius McCoy with the beautiful throw right over the linebacker. That's a second touchdown. It's tough to try to single out. Now to go up two scores 
And he adds the extra the field goal is right to the uprights and good. We take a two-score lead over the Eagles of Georgia Southern. 14 nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes. Some time. We're going to rock the quarterback, but he is going to get the first. Gets out to around the 45. Ooh, and a big hit. Just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. That brings up second and This is the ninth play in the current drive. Woo! We're going to get a big hit. Try the wide receiver out screen. We missed the first tackle and come through and absolutely kill the receiver. That makes it third and seven. So on third down, we're gonna try the pass here. See if we can find it. Panic me has been our go-to guy, but I've got a feeling that right here, Dixon or Ifedi is gonna be our go-to. We're gonna go underneath to Dixon, which we're not gonna get it. Not enough room to turn it through. The Eagles will use their first time out of the half. But with that, we're gonna try and give them the ball back with only two minutes to go. And we're gonna get a pick with the safety lane over the middle of the field. And we're going to take that back, and that should just about wrap up the game. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. We're going to get our biggest run of the game. Code's going to cut inside to about the 11-yard line, giving us just over 100 yards passing. We're going to try the option one more time here and just give it to whoever can get it. And Coates is going to break a tackle and get his first touchdown of the season, Destin Coates, and we go up 20-0. to zero. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And so with only six seconds left in the game, we're going to get out of here with our first W over Georgia Southern, 21-0 in our first shutout win of Ezekiel Carter's dynasty here at the University of Georgia State. As we can see here, and that should do it. Our final big win in our play of the game. Georgia State. Up, our deep pass early in the game to none other than number 15, the big man himself. Sam Pinnickney had... Cornelius Brown, we can see, 7 for 8 from the passing attack, 1 interception, 130 yards, and 2 touchdowns with a long of 54 yards. Uh, Destin Coates had a fantastic game in his first game. Injured, came back with 1 touchdown, 82 rushing yards. Our quarterback with 43 yards on 8 attempts, and our fullback with 1 attempt that got stuffed uh, off camera. Making up for our fumble early in the game, Destin Coates, one fumble, one 20-yard rush, and a long of 21 yards. Receiving, Sam Pinnickney had a hell of a game. Sam Pinnickney, 94 yards receiving, one touchdown, 54 yards on the longest, and the play of the game. Then we had Cornelius McCoy establishing the Cornelius connection with one touchdown. Then we had Destin Coates and Terrence Dixon. 
an absolutely fantastic game. We're going to get out of here with a win, 21-0 over the Eagles of Georgia Southern. And now on defense, we have a fantastic game. Our linebacker, McQueen, Chris Moore making a few tackles, 4-4 four and four across the board with two interceptions by Antavius Lane and Chris Moore. Um, we had a fumble recovery by somebody here. We're going to check who that was in just a moment. But a couple of sacks. Beautiful defense. Our first game is a complete shutout. Absolutely great. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.